makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel for another Halloween makeup tutorial. This house call is part of my 31 days of Halloween, so if you are new, welcome! And join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. And come back tomorrow for another Halloween makeup. By the way, it's super hard to talk with one eye closed and the other one open. I hope I don't look stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna let you watch the tutorial and I'll see you at the end. So excited about today's makeup! I'm ready to start and the first thing I will do is block out one of my eyebrows. And to block out my eyebrows I'm using a glue stick, a sponge and compact powder. Okay, now I'm going to put on foundation on half my face. My regular foundation on my... Oh no, I have trouble explaining. Breathe, breathe. Okay, <laughs> start over. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> now I'm going to put on my foundation on half my face. And on the other half, I'm also going to put foundation, but it's going to be lighter because this is where the skull is going to be. Putting on primer everywhere. If you don't have primer, don't worry about it. Your makeup is still going to look great. A few years ago, nobody wore primer, right? So I'm kind of following the trend here. And I always put too much... It's like every time I put this on, I think I'm putting on like moisturizer, but it's not moisturizer. It's a primer set. Alright, now the next step is going to be the foundation. I think my camera is too high. Okay, now with a... Start again. <laughs> now with a white crayon I'm going to outline the skull. And now I'm going to blend in my skin with the background with black paint. Okay, now for the skull part, I'm putting on a lighter foundation. I added a little bit of yellow paint in it, so it has this bone color, you know? Alright, so now I'm going to give the skull more texture and more realism by adding colors and I'm going to be adding this pale yellow and this like terracotta color, kind of like brown but with a little bit of red in it. Now I'm using a toothbrush and brown water activated paint and I'm gonna create splashes on the skull to make it look like it's um, porous. It has like holes, tiny little holes. I think it's porous, is it porous? Let me check, I'm not sure. Porous in French, porous. Porous, yes, that was the word. So I'm gonna create a porous aspect And now I'm going to do the same thing, but with a light color. I mixed white, yellow and beige. Okay, now with black paint, I'm going to create the hole in the nose and in the eye. And now I'm going to fill in the hole with black, uh, no, with brown eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use black eyeshadow and blend it in with the brown. Now with a thin black eyeliner, I'm going to outline the edge of the nose so that it looks deeper and more realistic. And now with beige paint, I'm going to create an illusion so that it looks like you can look through the hole and see the bone inside the, the, the nose, the hole. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense. I'm also going to use white cream paint for you know more realism and adding more light to the bone in the back. Now I'm using brown eyeshadow and I'm going to give texture and more shading to all these bones here. 
And now I'm using black eyeshadow. Now I'm going to highlight the bones with white cream paint. Alright, I'm done with the nose, now I'm going to create the hole uh, on the eye. Now I'm going to fill in the hole with a grey eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm going to brighten the inside with this beige skin tone looking water activated paint. Alright, now let's make this beige color look a bit dirty and old with grey eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna tap it randomly on the paint. And now with black paint I'm going to create the 3D illusion and give depth to the sunken eye. And now I'm going to put black paint on, on most of the lid and on the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm going to use a light concealer and I'm going to highlight the, um, the edges of my hole here, more of my eye. And now I'm going to highlight a bit more with white cream paint. So, I'm done with the eye, now I'm going to add a few teeth. I forgot to tell you, to make the teeth, I'm using this light concealer. And now I'm going to outline the teeth with black eyeshadow. And now to make the teeth look older and disgusting, I'm going to use my brown eyeshadow. Sorry, I can't open it. The brown eyeshadow that I used everywhere else on my face, this one. I'm almost done with the teeth. All I need to do now is add white cream paint and make the teeth uh, look like they're shining. Okay, so I'm done with the eye, I'm done with the nose, I'm done with the teeth. Now I want to add the last cracks and uh, cracks and bumps and holes and shadows and highlights on the bone. And then we can move on to the beauty part of the makeup. I want to add a little crack here in the middle of the skull. So I'm going to use, if I find it, a very thin black eyeliner. And now I'm going to finish the skull with all the highlights. Okay, I am done with the skull, I think. And now I'm ready to move on to the beauty part. I'm gonna start with the eye makeup. So for the eye, I start with primer. Now, for the transition color on my lid, I'm going to use this brown here. And now I'm going to put on primer on the lid. Now I'm putting on lavender on top of the base. Now, for the crease, I'm using a silver glitter eyeliner. And now let's put on black eyeliner. Now I'm putting on brown crayon on the waterline. And for the lower line, I will use the same brown I put up there. 
And now I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye. Okay guys, I'm almost finished. I'm going to remove the powder that I have on my lips so I can put on my lipstick. And then I will finish with contouring and highlight. Okay, so for the lips, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use... For the lips, I'm using a liquid lipstick by NYX called French Made. <laughs> I'm French. Okay, now I'm going to finish with all the contouring. There's not going to be a lot of it because most of my face is already painted. But yeah, a little bit of contouring, a little bit of highlight if I can, and that is it. For contouring, I'm using the same old palette, this one. And for the highlights, I'm going to use the Born to Glow palette. Okay guys, so please don't hate me, but I decided to add something on my uh, neck because it kind of looks weird with just the face painted and nothing here and kind of doesn't make sense. So I want to make it look like you can see my vertebras, vertebrae, <laughs> and then here painted black so it, it is, you know, blending with the background. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> finished i'm so excited about this makeup i really love it i love painting skulls it's one of my favorite things to paint especially the realistic ones by the way i was going to paint a black and white comic book looking skull when i woke up this morning and it turned into this not that i'm complaining i really love it but it was a bit longer than i expected although not that long it took me it took me four hours but i took breaks and i took my time so not that hard. If you follow the tutorial, I promise you, you can do something amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm gonna go have lunch and shower, and I will sleep. <laughs> I'm hot. And I will see you tomorrow with another Halloween makeup. I will open my eyes because honestly, it's really hard to speak like this. Thank you very much for. I just spat. Thank you very much for watching, and see you tomorrow. Bye.